Well, is it just me or is the mouse sensitivity way greater than it was before? This game actually did just update. That might explain some things. How about now? Yeah, okay, this is more of what I expect. Let's go back to pilfering cash. We're up to 40 now. Ah, this is still... Mouse is still more sensitive than it was before. I wasn't moving. I slid down those stairs like I made a soap. In any case, who knows? Maybe this update has actually corrected some of these many, many extreme bugs I keep encountering. Here we go. This is pretty much back to normal now, I think. Am I the only one who's noticed that these doors are really slightly transparent? That seems like it's really quite, you know, dangerous. Think about how uncomfortable it be you're in there doing something private, and somebody could just walk up to those doors and... see you? See all your bits? Game almost froze. I guess that's also because of the update. Lisa. Scarcity of pharmaceuticals in Turkey. I guess I'm probably not going to need much more money since we're almost to Turkey. That's not true. We're always going to need more money for the rest of our lives. Morning. He's looking at me again, thinking, really? You just, you just have garbage? Okay. So, what was, uh, really, really broken again? Oh yeah, everything. Wait a minute! Oh yeah, I forgot, every time you turn the game off, uh, you get a new tank of fuel. I forgot that... So this update did not fix this bug anyway. Not that I'm complaining. It actually guarantees we're not going to get stuck here. Your oil level stays consistent, however. Yeah, now we're out of oil, though. In any case, good, I'm not going to have to walk down to the store. It'd take a while to do that. However, I think I am going to buy a new air filter. And should probably consider buying a new engine even at this point. This thing is not that broken. I might just get a repair kit. That's a carburetor. It's an air filter. You easily get hit on a hairpin turn like that crossing the street. Greetings. Feel free to look through our catalog. Of course, Mr. Glasses. So, we need a new carburetor, right? We have 155. Yeah, let's order that one. Wait, did it not take away any of my money? Or did I just misread the amount of money I had? In any case, I'm not complaining. What the? No, it just didn't take any of my money. It didn't deliver anything. Huh? Um, let's try that again. If you guys don't have any, or if you're asking for a bribe or something, can we at least be upfront about this? <laughs> they didn't even put it on the drop-off point. It's not even in a box or anything. They just... The guy comes out of the truck, just throws it on the ground. He tosses it out like a newspaper boy. I'm gonna make a little gamble. I'm gonna make a gamble that they have a repair kit at the bottom of this hill. And... That this car is gonna make it to the bottom of this hill. I'm taking our lives into our own hands, Uncle. 
We sure this is... Yeah, no cell value. I don't get it. You think there'd be some value to the metal at least? We can sell a plastic jug for more than we can sell those things. Well, let's just decide our route right now. I'm not going to make the mistake I made yesterday. Head back? Why would I do that? We're almost to Turkey, Uncle. We got to bring Hassan's ashes to where they... Er... Yeah, Hassan... It was Hassan's ashes. Need to be brought to where they belong. This is definitely going to be the shortest route. I'm not going to repeat the mistake I made last night. I've only used four repair kits, huh? We've gone about 2,000 miles. Really, more like 1,900 miles. Turkey profit? What are they talking about? I haven't made any profit in Turkey. Looks like most of my profit was made... Wait, 2,000... 2,000... No, 21,000? What are they talking about? I never made $1,000. In any case, we've had a lot of places. We've been to a lot of places. Commemorating our comrades off in Vietnam, huh? Okay, let's hope this thing will get us to the bottom of the hill. Second, I thought it wasn't starting. It is kind of beautiful. I mean... I didn't realize how damaged our windscreen was. Or not damaged, but how... coated in muck it really became last night. Wow. This car, frankly, looks like it's been through a war zone. And I guess it's almost the same thing if somebody had been shooting at us. I'm not going to try backing out right now. Not when we don't know if the, we're going to be able to fix the car or not. Okay, first thing, the g the gas. Don't just pat the car on its butt like that. There's no need for it. Please have fuel. Yeah, they got some since last night. We'll sell this worthless junk. Wonder if we could take those boxes. Not sure why I would. I'm not gonna cancel the transaction. At least she's not Lisa. Okay, we need more oil. Pharmaceuticals, right? I guess we can't really, we don't really have a chance right now to check to see if we're going to need any of those, though. Or rather, if we can get them through the uh, security checkpoint. How many tires we have? How are we for tires right now? I guess I'm tired out after last night. Let's see. Got two tires. How are our tires doing? What the? My bad. So, that one's... Woo. One out of two. Two out of three. Off-road tire actually survived pretty well. With our Frankenstein's car here, the door and that tire. It's going to be nice to uh, have a car that will hopefully not fall apart in the middle of the journey. That's a pretty low standard to have, but at this point it is the standard that I have. This tire is three out of three. This one's... Three out of three. This mud-coated one is two out of three. You can tell which parts of the car are new because they're not completely splattered with mud. I guess I'll add an extra tire to what we're buying here. Ah, uh, we're not going to need any wet tires. We're going to be dry boys today.
Not sure I'm gonna have any left over to potentially profit off of medicine. Yeah, I'm... I don't think it's gonna be worth it. Of course, we're gonna need more cash once we're... in Turkey. Maybe we'll find some more stuff on the road if we're lucky. Okay, so... Let's just use this right now. What needs repairing, uh... Stock engine and this thing. There we go, nothing's steaming anymore. Uh-oh, that used up the whole repair kit, though. Not a big fan of that, I would prefer that it hadn't. And I shouldn't have closed... The bonnet. I'm always doing that. I don't want to run out of fuel. When we get to Turkey, I'd prefer to be on wheels, not on toes. Uncle, if we don't get where we're going today, uh, we're going to be homeless. Especially if we don't get there with anything to sell. Okay, so... No, no, no! There we go. Perfect. We're gonna have a bit to sell, I guess. We're gonna be fine. We got this far, right? Yeah, this Leica, I know I've been pretty hard on it, but... Because it's an awful piece of garbage. But I, I, I actually have not been pretty hard on it. I kind of like this. It's like trying to tame... A weird, majestic beast. Yeah, if I had any money left over, we could have bought some pharmaceuticals. And brought them, too. That is... bad form. What the hell? Don't mind me, officers, I'm not drunk. I promise. Papers, please. This is not the papers. Okay, let's see here. Okay, it glitched out again. Oh, no, it didn't. I mean, it did, but it, in a way that I'm still going to be able to get through. Wait, is my head backwards like an owl's? Okay, everything seems in order. Uncle? Let's drive. And I promise you I'm not drunk, not today. Admittedly, my best driving is about on par with drunk driving. But you're the one who's made me drive the entire way, so, you know. I'm not mad. I imagine we were pretty non-suspicious. You just drive up in a beat-up jalopy completely covered in mud, and it bumps into the gate three times. But we really didn't have any drugs or anything, so we're gonna be fine. This is in pretty thick fog, though. I can barely see anything. So I can't even see the road. I'm pretty sure it's early morning, not late at night, but that doesn't mean we can't have our lights on. I'm glad that you're excited about this, Uncle. So you had a long life in Turkey, huh? I don't know much about your past. 
Wait, we've already been on the road for a whole day? Apparently. Wow, we've slowed to a crawl. Now that that guy over there is going much faster. Still, he's about to overtake us. Or she, maybe. This thing is moving at a snail's pace. Are there any boxes? I don't think so. Whoa! I don't think so. You know, Uncle, you could have told me why we were going on this trip at the first place instead of making me find out. I would have maybe had more patience with you then, you know? Though I guess I've had a lot of forbearance, haven't I? I mean, I've complained, but you know me. You know, I'm just not all that good at expressing myself. And a lot of my complaints... Huh? Uncle, I don't think you realize how pressed we are for cash. I can't just buy a can of spray paint. If I do that, we might not be able to fix the car. And as you might notice, uh, the car hood's already steaming again. There's not really any good... Well, actually, there's a pretty big gutter there we could pull into, and it doesn't look like there's going to be one up ahead. But the time I spent observing that has now stopped me from pulling over into it and seeing what the heck is going on under the bonnet. I can only assume the car will not explode. Okay, I'm going to stop pushing my luck and actually check. I'm surprised we're actually seeing busy roads again. It feels surreal after the mountains last night. Wait a minute, what am I doing? That's the wrong side of the car. I heard that, I thought, did I just, uh... You hit somebody, okay. Yeah, it's this thing again. It can go a little longer without repairs. Let me get a few more kilometers out of it. Huh? Oh yeah. Gotta get the car started first. Much better. No, no, turn it off. I don't... There we go. Maybe I should have cleaned the uh, mud before we went to that security checkpoint, huh? Yeah, maybe. I think I did the wrong thing, get rid of our fuel tank. You know, the old one, I mean. Obviously, if we had no fuel tank, we would be... Getting nowhere in any hurry. I bet there used to be a mirror in that. Doing all this for your old friend. Your old late friend, huh? I guess it's too bad he never got to go home. So, to make sure I understand this, so Hassan, right? He's from Turkey. Uncle, that's all well and good, but... I know. I know that you're very excited about this. Maybe if you'd put your own marks towards buying paint, I'd actually would consider it a thing I would possibly do in a million years. See, if this were last night, there wouldn't be a fence here. It would just be an open cliff. This also, there'd be no pavement. And it'd be so dark. You couldn't even see an inch in front of you. See, now, though, we got this car really moving. I haven't noticed any speed limit signs around here, though. I guess with the collapse of the old government, it is kind of Wild West days, isn't it? I'm sure everything's going to work out completely fine. I mean, but Hassan, so he's from Turkey, and he's not able, or he wasn't able, to get back home, right? 
And also, and I think I was his son. I guess he was on business. Oh yeah, minarets were there! The city built along two continents. And this must be the new bridge. How marvelous. We can head straight into the Asian side. No ferry needed. Look at that. I forget the name of some of these famous mosques around here, but they're amazing. The domes. If this car doesn't break down. Come on, car! Let's pull over. I'm gonna fix the hood. Open up the bonnet and fix whatever is steaming now. What? Don't go on me. I put my emergencies on. Okay. What's broken? Everything, huh? I see. These engine repair kits might work, but, uh, things break down more quickly after you've used them. Darn tires already busted. Hope that's the last we're gonna need, and probably. We can already see the, uh, those Ottoman mosques. I think it's Ottoman, like the Reina... Not sure when a lot of these were built. Mehmed the second, maybe? Also, hold on, how are we for fuel? We have a good amount. We'll be fine for another few kilometers. Maybe my last challenge is going to be raising the funds to actually pay for our room. Put on a little tune to celebrate. Creaking into Istanbul. Oh, yeah. Oh, there are lights on the bridge. How pretty. I guess they change colors period. Yep, they are. We're gonna get there eventually. How could I have too much weight? It can't be too much weight. Think it could be? I don't think I ate that much last night. Or this morning. Even though I'm very hungry. So, if I'm understanding this right, my mom is in Istanbul, right? Or she's in Turkey, or from Turkey anyway, and she's somewhere in the West. Germany, of course, has a lot of Turkish uh, migrants. I guess it could be, then, that that's how, like, the family's from Turkey. So Hassan's family's from Turkey, but he was just a German national. And when the war ended, he was, uh, he was cut off from his wife. And... stuck with me, huh? Me and you. Look, I know I'm kind of a grumpy, cheating, lying, lazy, whiny, selfish, bad driver. But I'm glad I made this journey with you, you know? I feel like this is a big thing that we're gonna do. Uh oh. Well. Make sure this darn thing is gonna work. It's the fuel, right? Of course it's the fuel. Let's see here. Wait, is it not the fuel? What went wrong then? Still, I mean, I'll f fill it back up, I guess. 
Put in a bit more oil. Is it the battery? No, we still have a lot of charge. Nothing else is broken. Not exactly sure what's going wrong. I hope we'll just be lucky enough that the car will work. Okay, yeah, it is working. Hooray! I was quite worried for a moment there, Uncle. Wouldn't it be so ironic and hilarious if this thing completely broke down on the final leg of our journey? It's a big accident there. Glad we're not that guy. Hmm. What's that noise I'm hearing? Is it a flat tire? I'll pull over the next chance we get. What's that I'm seeing? Smoke coming from under the bonnet? Ha! Huh. Yeah, right. Okay, may maybe I really ought to do something. Oh no. We're gonna have to go down a hill with this flat. When you have this flat, the car just is veering. Whoa, whoa! Oh no! Uncle! Slow down! Are you insane? Okay, first of all... We're gonna be fine. What the fuck?! This... Yeah, I know, buddy. Believe me. Okay, which... It's this tire. I can't believe... This is happening. Of all the times this to be happening. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on it, buddy. Shut up! Yeah, okay, I'm about done here. Breaking my back. Holy! I killed them! We gotta get out of here, Uncle. No! Get... Me! That's your concern at this point? Are you an- you- whatever, uncle. Okay, let's try and make this turn now. I can't believe what just happened, uncle, and you don't even care. No more traffic come, please. Okay. Okay. We made it! I thought, Uncle, that that was, like, the end of our lives. And I'm pretty sure this isn't even a road we're on now. Those other people are driving here, so... It's a Leica? Where's the motel? So this is Istanbul, huh? Yeah, there's the flag. The motel! There's the motel. Park outside the front. Ironically, I just made my best parking job. Okay, good. Let's check in. Do we have the money? Probably not. Probably not. Uncle? Buddy?
Oh no, you're having a seizure. Here, let me back the car up into you or something. Oh, I know what it is. It's because I left the lights on. He's just panicking. This game is so bad. I'll be right back. Do, 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 don't mind me just walking back here without paying. Perfect. I just scammed one of the guests out of their cash. Don't mind me. This is great. What a con. I'm a master con man. Now, I'll note that I noticed the description of this game on GOG is wildly misleading. It says something about how, you know, play by the rules or become a smuggler so skilled that no uh, border security can ever check, you know, catch you. Which, talk about misrepresenting the experience. The best smuggler you can be is one who gets through because border security just got lazy and didn't bother to, um... <sighs> and didn't bother to check. I mean, they're just lying to sell this game, basically. You'll be staying in room 2B on the second floor. We kindly ask you not to disturb the other guests during your stay. Whatever you say, Lisa. To be. I've heard good things about her. She's a robot, I think. Okay. Where are we going after this, Uncle? I kind of want to know. Because we're, we're broke. We can't pay for a second day here. There's still time for you to see the town. You could visit the market to trade or upgrade the car at the Leica dealership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Time for bed. Same heavy sleeper as always, Uncle. Mwah! I kissed him on the forehead. Good night, we made it through! Wait a minute, where's Uncle? Oh no, I'm gonna have to drive all the way back into West Germany? Come on, man. Uncle's not even going to drive for one day of this trip. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Nothing in the news Berliner today, huh? Uncle? Where's uncle? No one's coming. It's a little ominous. No sign of him. Did he just leave? He wouldn't just leave without saying anything, would he? Wait. There's his suitcase. What's going on in here? Sir Gilly Lutfi, I am writing to inform you of the passing of Hassan. It is my hope that with this terrible wall finally coming down, maybe now these letters might reach you. Didn't I read this yesterday? Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, I see. We're being sent Hassan's ashes, sure. Never really wanted to travel here. And it was his dying wish to be let. Oh, confu confused. So the wall is... Wait, where? so where are Hassan's ashes? Who has them? So if the wall comes down, Hassan's wife will send uncle his ashes and he really wanted to be buried in Turkey? But we weren't in Turkey either until now. Hold on, wait a minute. So, the wall divided Hassan from Uncle, right? And Hassan and Hassan's wife from Uncle. So Hassan died while Uncle was taking care of their kid. Or rather, that's when the wall came up, when Uncle was taking care of their kid. And then... They never saw their son again. Hassan died. But the way that this is... But, but then this means that they died so they weren't in Turkey. But Uncle wasn't in Turkey. Why would they send these, the ashes to Uncle to get them into Turkey? I guess because we went on, he went on this trip to Turkey. Okay, so now that the wall is beginning to come down, now that East and West are beginning to commingle a bit more amicably. Uncle did receive his ashes, and that's what sent him on this trip. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. The, like, last paragraph was uh, blotted out with black ink before, right? Not sure how they erased it. Um, a lifetime may have passed us by, but one, one, but once this task is done, please ask my child to travel west so that they might see their ailing mother. Gulson. Oh. He did all this for us. So that we could see our ailing mom, huh? But where'd Uncle go? I don't know where Mum lives. How am I going to check on her? I'm out of money. Where is he? Where'd Uncle Lutfi go? I don't want to just be alone here in Istanbul. Even if I got kin here. Even if I'm finally going to see Mom after all these years. Not like if I'm just stepping over these wires. Not... What the heck? They got into the road? Oh, I see. It's just another bug. Is this it? Is that the ending? There's that nice bridge we crossed. That was quite the wild crisis we got into with the car screeching to a stop and all, but where'd Uncle go? I know I've been complaining. Oh, it was right... Right in that alley, too. Looks like the high road would have gotten me to the motel. Yeah, it's just nice to go for a little early morning walk here. It's odd in a big city like this, though, to see no one. To see not even Uncle, I guess. Where would this road take us? I'm just going to walk on ahead a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like it's closed for construction. Set this way, I guess. Did Uncle just go ahead to the... To the airport? Did he just go ahead to... Mums? 
I guess he counted on me sleeping in later. See why they have these pipes here. Or, I mean, the barri barricade here. Wait a minute. Did I just... Oh... Not supposed to be able to walk here, am I? I'm not gonna keep going this way. I'm afraid the game is going to bug out and the ground will no longer be detected and I'll just fall into another dimension again. Which, after some of the horrors I've seen on this trip, would be a reasonable enough ending, I suppose. Yeah, there's definitely nothing new there. Where the hell is Uncle? Is there some note in none of the sun visors or something? No. So, I'm recording this for reference. On May 30th, 2019. By the time this video is up, it'll probably be quite a bit later, and maybe by then this game will be quite a bit better, and all of my criticisms, um, or at least many of them, I will no longer apply. Uh, I really like the idea of a kind of procedurally generated, roguelike, driving through Eastern Europe in the early 90s with your uncle idea for a game. Uh... I can imagine how, with a bit more polish, or perhaps quite a lot more, this could be a really interesting experience. Just a can-you-get-the-car-to-run kind of game. Uh, a roguelike not about fighting enemies, but about scavenging and keeping your jalopy going. I think that sort of central story is a bit weak, and I think it's also under undermined a bit by the sort of mechanical... By all the bugginess, for one thing. And things like Uncle just being so unhelpful. He never helps you at all. He just sits there. He, he doesn't ever do anything for you. And it's just... I understand that he's not going to drive for you in a game about you driving. But they could at least have something about this. You know, some, th some throwaway line. Even just a little joke about it in the game itself, I think. Um, would, would do a lot. Um... To make it less irritating. And also for him to maybe help you somehow. I think also you shouldn't have to carry around your wallet in order to purchase things. I think that it's that the gas stations and, or the markets as they call them should be the same um, as the Leica shops in that you can buy something, you don't have to carry your wallet as a separate item in your inventory to the counter. You can just pay. You can just sort of assume that you have your wallet with you. In fact, maybe the reason that Uncle seemed so utterly unhelpful is that he was just conning a lift out of us and has abandoned us. Uh, well, not to die here. Okay. I looked this up online. It looks like, and maybe this was in an earlier version or something, there is a note that Uncle leaves explaining that he, um, the remaining part of this journey he must make alone. And he's basically just ditched us here. So, great. Thanks, Uncle. You made us drive us here. Made me go through all that just to dump me here with no money. You've made me a homeless man. Screw you.